The process of building a fully custom e-commerce site in Webflow is now even smoother, thanks to Smoothify. But now let's take it three steps further with three simple to install Smoothify add-ons that'll help customers find the exact product they want to purchase. First is the predictive search. All right, so on this e-commerce site, there's this nav bar and I'm going to put the predictive search inside of this div. All right, so with the Smoothify Webflow app launched, I'm going to pre-build components. And in this filter, I wanna filter by add-ons and we have the predictive search. So I can just copy that element and paste it in that div. And that's it. You've added it. And what it's doing is adding this custom element that takes care of everything. So I can go ahead and let's open that up. And it's actually a drop down. So if I need to style this in any way, I can just click on show and do whatever I need. But everything is already out of the box. You don't have to code a thing. So if I press publish and publish again, uh, you'll see it work. There we go. So let's go ahead and search for lamp, L-A-M, and there we go. If I go like that, L, or say chair, C-H, and again, you can style this inside of Webflow however you want, but Smoothify is taking care of all the other things. So you don't have to worry about it with this add-on. All right, so it's that easy. Next one is the search and discovery. So let's go ahead and add that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, duplicate this page and we're going to call it um, discovery. And I'm going to just delete everything except for the nav bar and the footer. There we go. So I just have all of these. All right. So with Smoothify still open, I'm going to copy search and discovery. I'm going to paste it in the page wrapper put that there in between and yeah publish and it's done so again what smoothify is doing is adding the custom element that you need and doing all the uh tag attributes for you it has everything you need here and and check this out check this out it's pretty cool let me go to the page and i can click on the filters button and it's doing all this filtering for you, right? So it has that slider. It has the search for like chair. There we go. Filter by brand. So it's taking all of your CMS data and doing the whole dynamic filtering for you. It You saw me do it in like a couple of seconds. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Last one I want to show off is the cart upsell. And now what we're going to do is going to go to the cart page and right here in the cart page, it just has your uh, cart information. But with cart upsell, I can copy this element, paste that into the page wrapper. And let's go ahead and put this inside the container and put it above the other elements. And so I have this. So the current, let me show you what it looks like currently. I'm going to add to cart view cart and this is what it looks like currently so there's no upsell here but if i press publish on this and you see again this has a condition has cart upsells and it has all the other types of things that you need for smoothify to work but if i refresh this now there we go i have a chair in my cart but hey, you know what? You might also want this armchair or this table or this poof. Yeah, so I'm gonna add the poof to my cart. And there we go. I have an upsell. As you can see, adding these three add-ons are very straightforward thanks to the Smoothify Webflow app. No need to sign up and use another third-party platform or add in extra code snippets that filter your Webflow collection items. As for the pricing of these add-ons, all three have a one-time per project fee, not a monthly fee. So it's 99 euros for the search and discovery filters, and it's 49 euros for either the predictive search or the cart upsell add-ons. You can learn more about these add-ons and stay up to date on any upcoming add-ons at smoothify.io slash 
add-ons. Thanks again to the Eclipse team for supporting this channel, and thanks to you for making the web beautiful together. See ya.